What's up, everybody? So the other day I was looking at f-stoppers. They had a video, like five tips on networking. So I go to watch the video, and the person who recorded it, someone named Scott McKenna, he recorded in his car, which I think is usually a really good idea because you get great audio in the car. It's a nice closed-end space. But then he was driving. So to me, the audio was a little bit annoying because you could hear the traffic. So I put a comment on the video. I wrote something like, I'm looking at it on a screen. I said, I wrote, no disrespect, but if you want to serve your audience better, I think you should take five minutes out of your day and film the video when you're not driving so the audio quality is better. Now, I wasn't trying to be rude. That's why I put no disrespect. And I tend to go crazy over like audio on YouTube videos. It really drives me crazy when they have music, when people talk too slowly. And I know that kind of stuff doesn't bother a lot of people, but it always bothers me. But anyway, so he wrote back to my comment and he said, create more, critique less, John. And I went, ooh, man, he got me. Like, he won that. I was like, wow, like, damn, he really got me on that. So I couldn't argue with that. He said, create more and critique less. And even threw my name in there like you were, like you were a teacher and you're talking to the student. So I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do my video on networking tips. I couldn't come up with five. I only came up with four in no particular order. Here they go. Number one, be that guy that talks to everybody. See, you don't want to have it be that when you go to a networking event, now you're trying to talk to strangers. You want to be that guy that just talks to people all the time. You're on a subway. You just talk to the person next to you about how long it took for the train to come. You're online at the supermarket. You make a comment. Oh, I didn't know they had avocados or whatever. You want to be someone that is so accustomed to talking to strangers that when you so-called need to do it at a networking event, it's going to come natural to you, okay? And I've had a lot of friends who are that way. And honestly, it can be a little annoying to me. Like you're in a store and you just want to leave and just buy whatever you're buying. And they stop and they talk. But even though that kind of extra time that it takes is annoying to me when I'm with them, I recognize that these guys are really good at networking. They are always networking, okay? And that's what you want to do. Well, they're always connecting with people. Let's put it that way. And that's what networking really is in no particular order. Number two, if you've been invited to an event by someone, go to that person who invited you and put some of the burden on them to tell you who you should be talking to. So you go up to that person and you say, hey, who's a good person for me to connect with? Who do who would benefit from my services? You know, I shoot headshots. Who do you think in this room could use headshots? So put a little bit of the burden on them to connect you to people. And then when you connect with those people, obviously you're going to say, hey, you know, I was invited to this event by whatever, by Scott McKenna. And he said, I should talk to you. And then boom, you can talk about yourself and your services because you have a little bit of an intro. Tip number three, when you're doing the conversation, Start your conversation in the middle of the conversation. Do not walk up and say, oh, hi, um, excuse me. Um, yeah, you know, my name is John and um, I'm a photographer and um, you're, you're in business, right? You do like a, um, you run a consulting company. You don't want to do that. Start as if you're in the middle of the conversation. You just walk up and say, you know, I'm looking at your shoes and I was going to wear the same shoes. Now, how funny would we look if we were both wearing the same shoes? You just jump in. You just jump in. So who thinks going to win the fight? And they're looking at you like you're crazy. The fight? Yeah. Yeah. Conor McGregor and, uh, you know, Khabib. Oh, I don't watch the UFC. You don't watch the UFC? How do you not watch the UFC, man? It's like the greatest thing ever. You get to watch guys just punch each other and whatever. But you start in the middle. What you're trying to do there, one, is eliminate the awkwardness of like, hi, uh, you know, my name's John and, um, you know, I take pick. You're trying to eliminate that. You're trying to make the conversation for them something closer to what they would do with their friend. Even if you're not really connecting on the points, you're skipping the most awkward part and just jumping right in. As if you know them already. You're just walking by. Uh, did the shrimp, man, are those shrimps have the shells on them? Because, man, I cannot deal with shrimp with shells on them. And when you do that, people will respond. They will respond. And what you really want to happen is after you talk for a minute or two, they look at you and they go, who are you? Because they don't understand why you're so comfortable in the conversation. And that's when you say, oh, I'm John. 
Don't even tell them what you do. Get back into the conversation. You know, well, what about, you know, that Star Wars movie, whatever. Let them ask you again, you know, what do you do? And there's your opportunity now to say, oh, I'm a photographer. I do a lot of headshots. And you can make a connection that way, okay? I promise this method works. It is a little weird, a little awkward, but it works. You just start your conversation in the middle and skip the beginning. Here's the last tip, which is when you're talking to someone, purposely find a reason that you need to contact them again. So if I'm talking to you, and let's say we were talking about uh, whatever, we're talking about Star Wars, and somehow the conversation got over to uh, a deleted scene, I'm not gonna pull out my phone and show you the deleted scene now. I'm gonna say, man, you know, I gotta send you that uh, next week because you have to see this, it's amazing. Now when Monday comes, I can email you, hey, remember we were talking at the party last night? Here's that scene that I was telling you about. And that's not necessarily a great example about the Star Wars scene. But what I mean is be consciously thinking to yourself, what is something that you can say to them that will give you an excuse to contact them a few days from now and say, hey, remember what we were talking about? Here is that code. Here is that website. Here's that picture we were talking about or whatever. Okay. So there you go. Four networking tips from me who decided to today, what is it, Cre create instead of critique, all right? Next time, hopefully, I can come up with five because four is a kind of weird number, people. All right, thanks.